Shavuos is a springtime holiday. For the Jewish people, it's, it's, it's a dairy festival. In Eastern Europe, they started eating blintzes, and of course, we make blintzes with cheese for Shavuot. This recipe is the recipe of a woman named Dottie Leach. She's a good friend of my mother's, and she's considered the blintz lady. She makes them, freezes them, and puts them in plastic bags. And so they're ready for any event at any time. All right, what we're going to do here is first make the filling. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the farmer cheese. It's a curd cheese, basically, which you can get at any farmer's market today, anywhere, because it's the most basic cheese. So then what you do is you take two ounces of cream cheese, and I put a little dash of salt in because I think you need a little bit of salt in everything that you do. I take one egg and then you can put a fourth of a cup of sugar in. Okay. If you want to have a fruit filling, you can have it. I don't particularly like the fruit fillings because you need something to make it stick together. So you need not a lot of cornstarch and it just it makes it too coagulated. I, don't, I just don't like it. Okay, so this, we're just gonna refrigerate it. Oop. Now we're going to make the batter. And one of the things that's really important is that it's thin enough to pour, but not too thin so that it won't cohere. And this is really the test of a good blintz, the batter. You wanna crack it as a shell and chill. Put your fingers there. You're cracking eggs. Okay, so we're gonna put these in here. A cup of milk. I'm adding one and a half cups of water. In other words, put all the liquid ingredients first. And then I might just blend it for a minute just so that all the eggs are good. And then add two cups of flour. I put more than a pinch of salt. Okay. Yeah, there definitely has to be salt in there. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. are fun to make. Well next we're going to let this rest for half an hour and then we're going to fry them. Make our crepes. Okay now this is the hardest part of making crepes and it's also the most fun. So take a little bit, this is probably even too much, and the first one's going to be hard to do and just practice them. Okay so you take about a quarter of a cup and you swirl it around. You want it to be completely cooked. That's about it, don't you think? There you go. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. Oop, probably a little bit too much, but we'll see. <laughs> so you, again, you want it to go around. You want it to bubble, but you also want to make sure that it's cooked on the top and then putting it on the, over. This amount of batter makes between two and three dozen. Dottie Leach makes 36 each time. Okay, now we're stuffing the blintzes and we're folding them. We're taking our filling, about two tablespoons. Then what you do is you fold the top down, then you fold one side over and then another side over and you want them to meet in the middle. Then you roll it like a jelly roll to close it. It doesn't matter that it's not perfectly closed either, okay? Simple compared to frying the crepes. So again, about two tablespoons of filling. Then you fold them in, roll it up. There it is. The last step, and again, this is a very easy step, is frying the blintzes and then eating them. And I again use a non-stick frying pan. Heat it up, I put a tiny bit of butter in it. Swirl it around. So then what you do is you put blintzes like this, open side up. Doesn't matter how many you put in. You can hear them sizzling. So you have to wait a few minutes, but again, you don't put them on a high heat. Don't they look good? Then what you do is you put them on a paper towel lined cookie sheet. And I always try to serve my dishes on pretty platters, okay? Now, can I eat them? This looks so delicious. Look at how the cheese oozes out with the berries 
the tart berries. Mmm. Delicious. Perfect for Shavuot, Shavuot or any time of year. And I'll tell you something, those farmers, the Jews of ancient Israel, never tasted a blintz. They never knew what they were missing. 